Okay, <clears throat> just a brief recap. The first thing I did was install the uh, cam. The second thing I did was install the uh, crankshaft. The third thing I did was install this time chain. And the fourth thing I did was install the pistons. And in that specific order. Now I've already uh, checked the degree of this cam out at zero and it came in eight degrees advance. So that's uh, way more than I want. So I'm gonna pull this off and I'm gonna retard this cam six degrees. That will make uh, my cam come in two degrees advance. So instead of 110 low center, I should end up with a 108 low center. So stand back. Okay, now uh, I'm going to take uh, this timing chain off. Get the right socket here. Works a lot better. Thing is a real tight fit, so I just kind of have to kind of work it out. I have to bring these two gears together. Okay, that's about it. Going at six degrees, retard. That's right here. Get that back on. Put the time chain back on. Okay, when you advance or retard uh, a cam in the time chain, your timing marks are not going to line up. So I just eyeballed it to what I thought looked like it might work. It's about right, right there. I have to pull this cam down a little bit. Oh yeah, there you go. These gears have to go in straight together, have to go in a line. You don't want to push this one further in than this one is. Uh, let's get this guy back on. I'm not going to torque this, I'm just going to put it firm, firm snug. Okay. Now I borrowed uh, this degree wheel from my uh, faithful companion Tano. So he swears by it. So I'm going to go ahead and set it here, but they're going to reconfirm that that's zero. Actually, it moved off as we go, so let me get this back on. Okay, there we go. Now, in order to confirm that I have top dead center, I'm going to back this thing up. I'm going to turn it counterclockwise. Pull this number one piston down so that I can get a piston stop on it. Down the clock. Pull that number one piston down. Get my piston stop that I made, which is a piece of flat stock. I drilled and tapped a quarter twenty and I put a bolt on the back side. And it's gonna go right here. And I'll throw a little tight on it. I'm going to continue turning counterclockwise until that piston pulls up 
and here's my stop. You want to jam it in there, just there you go, it stops. Now I'm going to take a reading on my degree wheel. I'm going to read count clock 10, 20, 30, 5, 35 degrees. I'm going to write that down. Now, I'm going to turn this little guy clockwise until that piston hits that stop again. There it is. 10, 20, 35, 36, 37, it's 38 degrees. I'm gonna write that down. Okay, my first reading was 35. And our, our second reading was uh, 38 degrees. So we add these two together. That's 73. We wanna divide by two. I have to be right in the middle of this. That's going to be 36.5. Well, I hate it when it splits my hair like that. So, I'm not able to turn this degree wheel without loosening the bolt, the crank bolt. So, I'm going to go ahead and move this pointer over 36.5. 35, 36.5 is going to be about right there. It's 36.5. Now, I gotta confirm that. So I'm gonna turn this little guy counterclockwise until it hits that stop again. There it is, 36.5. Perfecto mundo. Now I'm gonna back it up. Take that piston stop off. And we're gonna check it one more time. That dowling case. So now I'm going to bring it back around to zero. Okay, there's zero. This is right at zero. I mean, Right, just on. Okay, there's zero. I set my dial indicator to zero. I got zero here. Now, I'm going to turn it counterclockwise. Well, I'll do a hundred thousands. Take a reading. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18 degrees. Turn it clockwise. It's gonna bounce off the zero and come back around 100,000. And it needs to be 18 degrees. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18 degrees. So I now have established true top dead center. Uh, now at the number one piston, uh, I used a, a hydraulic lifter and a push rod in the intake load. The dial indicator has to be in a straight alignment to the push rod. Yeah, any uh, misalignment there will give false readings. Also, the uh, intake uh, lobe uh, needs to be free from heavy oil, so I used a thin, uh, thin film of WD-40 on the number one intake lobe. Here you can see the exhaust and intake lifters fully seated in the number one uh, piston. Okay, now that I have established true top dead center, I'm going to degree the cam in. <clears throat> I have the uh, the crank gear, timing gear, <clears throat> uh, set at six degrees uh, of retarded. So I'm looking for a one away on the center line. So let's go. Now I'm, I'm going to turn this crank clockwise until I get the highest reading on my dial indicator here. Okay, she's starting to move. <clears throat> Got it right there. Let me set this to zero. That's it, it comes off of zero. Yet the dead, now let me go back. Turn it counterclock. 
Okay, it bounced off the wheel. So now <clears throat> I'm going to continue turning counterclockwise uh, until I get back down to 50,000. And here I'm going to be reading 50,000 before maximum lift. Take a reading on my degree wheel. Counterclockwise 62 degrees. Write that down. Now I'm going to turn the crank clockwise. The dial indicator will go back to zero, bounce off like it did. I'm going to stop at 50,000. This is after maximum lift. Take a reading on my degree wheel. And it is 150, 1, 2, 3, 154. So, <clears throat> my first reading was 62 degrees. Our second reading was 154 degrees. We're going to add those two together. We're going to divide by two. One oh eight. So right now my cam <coughs> is set at one oh eight degrees on the center line. That to me is perfect. Next will be my rocker arms and my roller rockers won't be in until looks like late uh, summer now or early summer. We'll have to wait and see. So it might be a month or so before I'm ready to put my roller rockers on. Okay, now that I have my uh, cam degree in, I need to go back and uh, pre-lube my uh, number one intake and exhaust uh, cam lobes. Well, that's all the time I have now. So until the next episode, remember this. Today is the first day of the rest of your I'll life. Fall in love with you. I fell for you and I knew the vision of your love, loveliness. I hoped and I pray that someday I'll be the vision of your ha happiness. Oh, oh, earth angel, earth angel. Please be mine, my darling dear. Love you all the time I'm just a fool